Hey guys, Thunderstead here, and today we are finally getting to Condemned Witch. She is um, pretty much standalone, I wouldn't call her an archetype. Immediately limited to 3 for good reason. What does she do? You normal summon her and she adds a forbidden quick play. Forbidden have been around for a while. They're some of the strongest quick plays in the game. They do all sorts of stuff. And now they're searchable. She's also dark and has the effect where during your opponent's main phase you can tribute this card and special summon one level 4 fairy from your deck. So she's a dark. You get special summon light fairies in theory and that's why you got to keep her away from chaos dragon so i was assuming i would just use her with other chaos monsters but i really wanted to take the chance to revisit star seraph and that way with the condemned witch we can set up our star seraph plays really consistently search the still limited sovereignty can you believe this archetype is still limited it's interesting to see how they would do with link but I didn't try any Link. We're still going XEs. Of course, Sovereignty can only be used on a 3 plus XEs, and we do have plenty, which is Ouroboros, who does a whole bunch. You probably remember him from the Evil Swarm. And we have a Dice Sigma, a Vylon monster, who can swoop up an attack position monster and then destroy the same attribute as that monster. Very cool. And we got a uh, Thunder Spark Dragon, a very old card. You discard three, destroys all other face-up monsters on the field. Very cool card. And uh, we doubled down on the Dreadnought and the Great King Magnus, just because this deck really needs the firepower. The idea is just searching whatever situational forbidden card you need. And we go to uh, Forbidden Chalice, because that's generally the best we have in the deck. If you don't know Star Seraph, I don't blame you. They're kind of old now and just limited and disappeared off the face of the earth. This boy, Normal Summon or Special Summon, you get to search. And then if you use the 3 plus XEs with him, you gain the effect to target a card on the field, destroy it, and draw one. What a great card. This boy where is where it gets really crazy, though. You summon any other Star Seraph, you get a Special Summon this, you get a draw. If it's level 4, you get a Special Summon it again really stockpiles that's why it's the limited boy we have surf scale uh pretty good when it's special summon you can special summon one star seraph monster from your hand and then you can place one light monster from your graveyard to the top of your deck the second part is not mandatory so if you don't have a light monster in your graveyard you can still use this skill to special summon so there's tons of combos. You could go here with the Scout, who's just a normal summon, special summon from your hand. Special summon Scale. Scale can special summon Scepter. Search whatever you want as a follow-up. And then finish the duel from there. So uh, it'll be much more clear in the replays. I'm not using a skill because you don't really need one. There's obviously not a specific one. Anything like uh, Ties That Bind or even Destiny Draw would be better. And of course, there's XE specific skills and stuff like that. But, uh, it, you know, it's just a Star Seraph revisit. It doesn't reinvent them. They're not going to be meta or anything. They're not the strongest deck around. But it still was fun to revisit them. Been so long. I can't believe they're still limited. They could probably be unlimited at this point. So I hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching. All right, here we are going second against a Yami Merrick. Let's see what he's got for us. It's probably raw though, obviously. Three scouts and a sovereignty. It is in fact raw. He's got the sun god. Wing dragon a raw there. Millennium Re... Revelation? I don't know why I saw re-evaluation there for a moment. When I've already done this deck. So, uh, you know, ba basic plays, he's gonna get out, uh, the, what is that, egg? The egg of raw or something? I don't know what it's called, we're about to see. Bada bing, bada bing, here comes the immortal phoenix. Get that reborn back to the hand. Look at this guy, he's even got magicists. We're still gonna dunk on him. There goes the Phoenix to the graveyard. Here's Sphere Mode. I guess it's not an egg at all, huh? He's just in Sphere Mode. Here comes Scout. Boom. Sovereignty. 
Sovereignty draws a monster, we get a special summon it. We did draw a monster, we get a special summon it. That's going to be Thunderspark, check that out. We're going to be able to destroy all of those. Sphere Mode can be destroyed as long as you don't target it. Very great use of Thunderspark Dragon, fantastic. He uh, gets rid of our dress. Dress is very good because you can't be targeted or destroyed by other card effects. Would have been very, very useful. He's, he's in trouble though, we're, we're doing pretty well. He's got his revelation going. He's got a monster reborn. He has to bring him in defense, he hits himself to bring out the immortal phoenix. Can't destroy us again because he doesn't have the life points obviously. But he destroys our monster and uh, through battle and brings out another sphere mode. Here we bring out a scout into a scepter once again. Surge Sovereignty. Go into our Dreadnought, okay. Defense position Dreadnought. He's gonna have trouble getting over that. Even through Sphere Mode. Bringing out a Raw. Can't do it through battle. We're okay. Now, check out what we got. We won the duel right here. Scripture. Let's read Scripture. If a monster battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, Get all other effects on the field. Also, damage calculation for this battle uses each monster's attack, original attack and defense, and it won't change the animation. So he'll still look like 4,000, but he'll be swinging with zero. And you're about to see it. Doesn't matter what monster I swing with right now, he's only at 600. And uh, you wait till the damage step. So here we go. He's trying to use that regeneration, doesn't matter. He's gonna set dress, doesn't matter. Here's scripture. Swing into that 4K. We still do 2200 damage to him. He was probably so confused. But it's obviously the scripture. Scripture is so good, guys. Great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing a ghost gal. We're going first. She is Ultra Geist. I think she shows an Ultra Geist skill. Ghost in cyberspace. She's full ghost gal over there, too. So we're going first. We have a Condemned Witch. We already have Dress. We're going to search for Bin Chalice because that's the money. Dress makes it so we can't be targeted or destroyed by other card effects. Main phase, we bring out the scepter. Once he sets three back row, we search our scale. So we already have a three X's in our hand, but we even still have this the uh, scepter out there. So we're gonna just bring out the scout. He's going to bring out an Ultra Geist monster. Not a huge deal just yet. We normal summon our or special summon our scepter. Still get the. Uh, good stuff he's spoofing I don't know what that does special summons or adds I guess there you go still need to make ultra guys it's a real tragedy I haven't anyway we get to search a scout again he's got a special summon the multi faker that's going to trigger multi fakers effect a special summon from the deck but we say no with the forbidden chalice so he's gonna have a bit of trouble in our main phase here comes Ouroboros we're going to Okay, so it's a little confusing. Ouroboros gains Scepter's ability, which means we get to destroy a card and then draw one, and then we discard a card from his hand, so he's really, really hurting. Now look at our hand. We, we have everything we need. We can go scout into... Oh, I'm going Sovereignty of all things. Let's go into Effect Failure. So it's really good I went Sovereignty, so I guess I saw that coming. Sovereignty and we special summon the scale after we drop the scale so all that was without scouts so special summon Return that to his hand Second Ouroboros doesn't even matter. We can throw away what we just returned to his hand. You believe that? So uh, rough time for him as we finish the duel great great stuff guys. All right here. We are facing a Kai, but this if, Yeah, this is actually a loss, but this duel is just so good Block goes off, so uh, I want to show it regardless. We're starting with two Condemned Witch. We got a Sovereignty. He's going first. Blue Eyes Dimension. Throws an Abyss Dragon. Goes with the Reborn. Reborns the Abyss. No cutscene. There's a Poly. Normal summons a Blue Eyes. Abyss Dragon Search of another Blue Eyes with a setback though. Here we go, we top deck of Forbidden Lance. We're gonna start with uh, Scale into Sovereignty. Sovereignty top decks 
Uh, I don't know what the hand one is called. Scouts. Let me get a three. We're going with uh, Dice Sigma. He tries to trap hole us. We forbidden Lance the trap hole. 1700, but we're going to be able to steal his abyss. And now, whenever we attack another light, we're going to destroy it. Here he brings out Deep Eyes to do some damage to us. Scale gives us a plus one whenever a monster is special summoned. And that becomes our Xyz effect. Sets a back row, brings out a, another Blue Eyes, swings at the Dice Sigma, didn't learn the first time. Or actually, no, did that on purpose with the Deep Eyes to get rid of them and then swings over us. Here we play our Condemned Witch, search a Forbidden Chalice. Set of Forbidden Chalice, and I think that was Scripture. Scripture, yeah, pretty good card. We tribute our Condemned Witch, bring out a Scepter. He passes the turn, doesn't even swing at the Scepter for some reason, so we'll take it. We bring out the Scout, bring out the Scales, that's Ouroboros. Scale makes it so when anything special summon we plus one, he's got to effect Veiler. Our Ouroboros, not a huge deal. We'll swing with a Forbidden Chalice over the Blue Eyes. He's got a Paleozoic to... what's that do? Banish us? Yep, Banish us. We got a Condemned Witch once again. Search another Forbidden Chalice. Overall, I think most of the plays are done at this point. I can still, in his main phase, Go into Star Scepter, so you're just seeing all the different uses and how they can escalate. This all during his turn. We're about to get a bunch of monsters out, as you can see. And then we just keep going from here, but uh... I forget what, what loses it. But either way... Uh, yeah, lot, lots going on with Condemn Witch and this archetype. This archetype is just a little dated. They can definitely get off the limited list. Overall, really, yeah, I don't know how we lose this. Uh, we, we get them real down there, but uh, other than that, great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing Paradox Brothers. I don't really remember facing them at all, so this must be a quick and easy clap. He's got my Valentine on his side. Uh, believe in that, this guy probably came back after a while from Duel Links. He's got a Pot of Duality, though, so that's a pretty, uh, pretty current card. Oh, I remember this. Silly duel. Okay, so area B limits or whatever you call that. Yeah, what a funny duel this is. So condemned witch. Boom boom. Sets three. Now this thing change every level four higher monster to defense position. Here he's bringing out a bunch of raw disciples. We already saw he got the Mystic Box. Is that a Fire Prison? Okay, so now nothing can attack. Monsters can't attack except for Link monsters. Here we bring out the Scepter. He switched to Defense through Area B. Dreadnought will not be switched to Defense, but he can't attack because of the Fire Prison. So we gotta wait a little more. Now we're gonna Normal Summon Scepter once again. Get another Search. Sovereignty this time. Now we're got a Forbidden Lance, which means our Dreadnought can attack, which means we destroy Ra's Disciple, and then we special summon the Super Quan himself, and we're ready to go. He's going to Mystic Box our Space Quan, give us a Ra's Disciple, but not before we destroy the Fire Prison, with it, or we return it to the deck with our boy. Now why give us Ra's Disciple? Because we can't special summon while we have him, but with Forbidden Lance, or Forbidden Chalice, doesn't matter now. So we bring out Condemned Witch, we have his free raw he gave us. That's a 3 XCs of an Ouroboros, not worrying about Area B, actually destroying Area B through the Scepter ability. Then we get him to discard a Monster Reborn, that's a good discard. Then uh, destroys last raw, he brings out some sort of Time Lord in... Before his effect goes off, we Forbidden Chalice him, obviously. He's been a lot of trouble being in our turn with Forbidden Chalice, as he doesn't have much life points. Many life points, I should say. We're going Scout into Sovereignty. It's a bit of overkill, but uh, we did it. Didn't even use the Scout effect there, actually. 
Uh, this I replaced for more Ouroboros. He can add banished monsters or stuff like that. We still get the destruction. Doesn't really matter, just a warm body here. He does have Kyroid though. And uh, yeah, the more Ouroboros is just always the answer, guys. He's got a black hole now. I had my toggle off for some reason. I was, I was running out of time. I had forbidden dress. I could have saved the Ouroboros. We could have been not destroyed by other card effects with forbidden dress. But it doesn't matter. We have plenty. We have so much coming out right now. It's gonna be absurd. Sovereignty. Sage. I didn't even go over Sage. Thunder Spark Dragon, we're gonna be swinging. He's got another Kite Roid, but this deck, all it does is stall. He's not gonna have a good one card win combo at all, and he scoops, obviously, because of it. But uh, yeah, so, you know, this, this archetype isn't super wild, but it just shows the versatility of Condemned Witch and how she's gonna shake up a bunch of older stuff, guys. So uh, overall, hope you enjoyed. Not quite looking forward to the live duels with this. It's something I'm already running out of time with normally. We'll see how it goes. It's it's It'll be a rough one, but we'll see how it goes. So hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.